come to really realize no, the importance of a lot of these improvement tools, Lean Six Sigma being one of them. Um, and as I will show you in a while, we had some uh, good successes no, in where we were able to apply it. I know that some of you haven't attended the sessions before, so I'd like to give you a little orientation on why we find this to be very, very important no, in an industry like healthcare. And I know that this is something that has been done no, in other industries with uh, resounding success. And we're just beginning really to appreciate. We have a very, very colorful history in St. Luke's Medical Center. It's been around for almost uh, 110 years. We started in this very, very modest facility in the Manila area in Magdalena. I think where this used to stand is what is now the St. Stephen School in the Benondo area. And it was in 1959, well, it actually a hospital that stayed open during the war. It was one of the few that stayed open that a Japanese medical director took over when the Japanese were here during the 1940s. And he actually brought in his staff you know, of Japanese nurses. Uh, significantly, it also came from the St. Luke's Nursing School in Tokyo, Japan. So it was very, very interesting. And they actually kept the hospital open. And as a tribute to, the mad, uh, to Dr. Kamada, uh, in spite of orders coming from Japan to destroy the hospital when the Americans were coming in. He actually went against orders and kept the hospital open that he became a fugitive from the Japanese army and it was the Filipino team that actually smuggled him out of the Philippines to safely go to Japan. So we really have a very, very colorful history. Until in 1959, we transferred to our current facility in Quezon City to where it is right now, in 2010, we opened our global city facility. We are a hospital of 600 beds. We average about 500 patients in Quezon City, uh, average census. Right now, we're about 350 in global city. We have 250 associates or employees. In Quezon City, we have about 1,500 doctors. In global city, about 700. So you can see it's a very, very complex operation on top of, of course, taking care of sick people. And, you know, just I'd like to show this interesting slide because you can see that in a span of five years, so many things can change. Uh, this was during the topping off ceremony of Global City. I was at the rooftop no, where the helipad is right now. And this is a vantage point of the Global City just about five years ago. And you can see Serendra over here. Nagumpisa pa lang yung high street. And this is where it is right now. 